My name is Earl. I'm a child farmer here at Township Chevrolet, and we're just here to answer a couple of common questions people have about winter tires. Uh, the main difference between uh, summer tires and winter tires is the compound of the rubber. Winter tires are designed to work in temperatures below 7 degrees. They have better flexibility and better grip uh, in icy and snow, snowy conditions, uh, so they work better in the cold. And the tread pattern obviously has something to do with it too. So normally your all-season tires are for dry weather or wet weather or rain. So they have a lot of water sipes that help channel the water away from the tire. Winter tires, they have a tread pattern that's um, better for snow. They help clean them. They clean themselves out when the snow gets packed in the tread. Uh, and they also help divert obviously slush and snow away from the tire so you get a good contact on the road. Uh, and that's another question we get a lot. When your temperature is consistently around seven degrees Celsius. So the main reason because of that is with the softer compound on the rubber, they will tend to, um, they'll wear out quicker if you have them on during warm months. So I guess you could run them all year long. However, they're not gonna last as long because of the, the compound, they'll wear it a lot quicker than an all season tire. So a winter tire will last, uh, just as long typically as an all season tire, as long as they're being driven in the type of conditions that they're meant to be driven on. So if you use them in the winter time, you cycle between your summers or your all season tires and your winter tires, um, typically the winters will last as long. Not only that, you're usually typically running on them for a shorter period of time. And the name does suggest that you could use them all year round. The only problem is, if you were in Florida, for instance, all season tires would be all season because typically their temperature doesn't drop below zero. Uh, they don't typically get a lot of snow or slush in the road. So yeah, your all seasons in that case would be fine, but um, it's all about the environment that you drive in. So you should only run four, so you should never just run two winters and two all seasons. You wanna have all the same tread pattern uh, front. People ask, can I put my winter tires on the rims that are on my car? Which you can do but there's always a cost associated with the install and balance. If you're running your tires for four or five years, um, it's a lot more convenient to have a set of winter rims, not to mention the harsh elements in the winter time usually tend to, they're pretty hard on the finishes on a lot of the fancier and aluminum rims that come on your vehicle. So it's nice to put on those steel wheels. And after a certain number of years, it becomes more cost efficient because just to switch over your tires uh, with your rims every year, a seasonal changeover we call that, as compared to a balance and install, it ends up being cheap in the long run. So a few things to consider. If you are... Um, the other thing is, you know, anytime you're getting the tires taken off your vehicle and put back on, uh, whether it be a rotation or any repairs getting done or your winter tire changeover, it's always a good idea to come back to the shop um, within 100 kilometers to have your tires retorqued. There is different types of uh, treads for tires. We have a couple of examples here. So these are both winter tires. Um, these are more geared towards ice and uh, ice tires. These are more of a snow tire. You can see the difference in the tread pattern. These will take studs, which it's up to you if you want to do studs. Studs are really great for ice, but other than that, they don't offer any more uh, traction in snow or slush. So if you're doing, if you're an essential worker, that let's say you have to get to your job, you're a nurse, a police officer, you're a firefighter, um, and you need to get to your job and you know your place of business doesn't close down, well then maybe studs or something you might want to look at.